Okay, we're gonna start off the walk. I'm gonna give you a bit of the local flavor here in Chumbageni, and we'll be checking out the bus stand here in the bus area. There. Is the Shule Ya Secondary Old Tanga? So this is the Tanga Old Secondary School. So I guess a lot of people Which really helps when they when when it's very hot. So this is an apartment block. People live here. And usually with apartment blocks like these, what you'll find is apartment blocks upstairs and on the ground floor there's a businesses. There are businesses. <laughs> Welcome to Inspire for Travel. My name is Wemba Imani and today I'm in the area of Chumbageni here in Tanga City. So I'll be just walking around, exploring the place, giving you a vibe of some of the places you will see in the area. we we'll probably see the police station, some of the schools in the area and just an overall vibe of the place here in Tanga. Now I've covered quite a number of areas here in Tanga already. So this is one of the areas I haven't uh, walked as yet. So today we'll be checking it out. If you're new to the channel, I really appreciate your time. And do consider liking, sharing and subscribing to the channel by clicking on the red box below this video that says subscribe. And to my returning subscribers, thank you so much for your custom. Karibuni, Tanzania. Okay, we're going to start off the walk. I'm going to give you a bit of the local flavor here in Chumbageni. And we'll be checking out the bus stand here in the area. And this bus stand, you can go to, you know, various places uh, around the Tanga city. And this is what it looked like. Not that big. And you'll find much of the uh, local Dala Dala buses here. So this is what it looks like. It's a bit of a sandy road here. So this is where most of the locals will be coming to get their buses to various destinations around the city. So that was just the bus stand there. There are a few um, bus stands in the area, but pretty much in terms of the size, that's the size you will most likely see. They're not very large. So Chumbageni, in my view, is one of those areas w which is not crowded in comparison to other parts of the city. It's not that congested. And it's another strategic location if you're a person that would like to live close to the city center, near to the Tanga city, perhaps near to the... Um, the banks and some of the intercity buses station in the city so Chumagain is a good choice it's not far from these places so we're coming up to some of the local shops in the area and some of the small businesses that are located in the area. So to my right there, that's literally a, 
beauty salon. They also have um, a shop where you can buy motorcycle parts. So this is the vibe here. It's quite a sandy sidewalk. One of the features you will see in some of the areas here in Tanga. After all, it is a coastal city. Weather is moderate temperature today. It's not that, not that hot today. And what's nice is when you are living close to the seaside, you do enjoy the comfort of the sea breeze. Which really helps when, they, when, when it's very hot. So this is an apartment block. People live here. And usually with apartment blocks like these, what you will find is apartment blocks upstairs and on the ground floor there's a businesses. There are businesses. So here we have a pharmacy. We have a cosmetic shop, you get perfumes and different things like that. And here you can also buy, it's like a convenience store, you can get drinks, bread, different things as well. So that's really nice for those who live there. It's a little business right here. Usually you'll find these type of business outside some people's houses. Usually you'll find people organizing out businesses outside their home sometimes. Selling different things for breakfast like tea and soups and things like that. nice fruits and veg store we're coming up to one of the popular features here in Tanga you find a lot of the soups uh, not soups sorry but fruits and vegetables which is great so to my right here this is Masjid Woodwa here in Chumba, Chumbageni. So this is the local mosque and this is what it looks like. Really gets packed on Fridays for Friday prayers. That's Juma time. These are more local businesses and shops in Chumbageni. Quite a colorful house here. Really stands out in the area. Yeah, I'm loving the vibe so far. Calm day, very cool. And to be honest with you, generally speaking, in areas like this, no matter what time of the day, you still get that real laid back feel you know the pace of life really slows down here you'll even notice when you're walking on the road it's different because people walk much more slower in comparison to how I walk sometimes you know when you live in like bigger cities where things are fast-paced and you come to the coastal cities like this, you immediately you can stand out because people really take things pole pole here. Chumbageni.
a lot of my subscribers had asked me to cover this area so if you've lived in this section of town before let me know what you think of the area does it still look the same how you remember it let me know some of your wonderful and fun moments of Chumbageni here in Tanga. Comment in the comment section below. Dukala Dawa, this is a pharmacy right here. local place they sell ju juice you have locally style brooms he's selling water here karibuni wateja it means welcome customers maji miyasita 600 tanzanian shillings for a bottle of water Some of the roadsides. Okay. Coming up to our right, this is the police station here in Chumbageni. Central Police Station. I believe this is the biggest one in the Tanga area. This colorful, bright building here. Is the Coastal High School. So this is a high school for, for children. A lot of learning happening here. Really lovely structure. So classes are going on right now as we speak. So that's why you're not really seeing any of the students at the moment. I believe I made a mistake the previous building where we just passed was not the police station that was the the uh, municipal building for the Tanga region there however we're coming up to the central police station now here in Chumbageni and that's it right here on our right so the previous building that was in the police station the central police station is here my apologies for that mistake This is the police station and it's right opposite the petrol station right here you can see this is a petrol station here so the police station is right opposite that So coming up on the right as well, this here is the Tanga Central Hospital. In the last episode, we covered 
Bombo Hospital, which is in the Bombo area, Rasco Zone, Rasca Zone. But this is another hospital here in Tanga. It's much smaller than the hospital in Bombo. So this is Tanga District Court. So this is where a lot of legal proceedings happen. Very big building. White color. So this is the main courthouse here in Tanga. In comparison to Raska Zone, I don't see much hotels or guest houses in this area. So it's a lot of official government official buildings. They got schools and of course on the back roads you'll have places where people live. But Raska Zone is much more of a area which will be better for people who are visiting Tanga given the fact you have much more variety and choices in that section of town. These are the motorcycle not motorcycle bicycle taxi sorry oh yeah guys these are all mango trees you can see these are really large mango trees some of them they just have a few mangoes on them but it is mango season now here in Tanga so they should be bearing fruit soon. This bus goes to Mombasa. Tawakal. Bus company. I'm, I'm not allowed to film banks. So I'm going to turn my camera the other way. So if I follow, follow the road along, it will lead me to places like Independence Avenue and further afield into town, into areas we have already covered. Now on this street here, you can see these are all tea sellers selling various variety of teas like Chai Tangawizi, Chai Arangi, and that's tea without milk, Chai Maziwa. Gare Secondary School host Hostel is here. So you can see cleanliness is taken seriously here. This is uh, one of the workers cleaning the beautiful garden here in Tanga with that traditional type broom there. So that's really good to see. Generally speaking, 
Yes, uh, some of the buildings in the area is a bit outdated, but it still maintains its charm. And for the most part, walking around, exploring the city, it's generally, a clean, in my view, a clean city. By the way, this is also a school here as well. I can see students in class doing what they do best, learning. In Kiswahili they say, Elimu ni muhimu sana. Elimu ni muhimu sana, which means education is important. And um, something that is taken seriously in Tanzania and other parts of Africa, there isn't any type of benefit system like that in comparison to Western countries. So people have to learn their best to create opportunities to help provide for their families. So it's taken very seriously. Now this is an Islamic boarding school. It's for girls. al qahir Center. And this is what it looks like. Like I said before, Tanga has a very large Muslim population. So that's a girls' school right there, Islamic, and it's a day and boarding. You'll find a lot of that in Africa, uh, day and boarding schools. And that simply means in the daytime, students can come to study and they will obviously go back home to wherever they live in the area. And then those who are boarding will obviously stay on campus. And usually you'll find that boarding school throughout various parts of Africa and even here in Tanzania could start as low as the age of six years old. There's some school which can have children living in from six years old. So don't know if you all could see but these are the students inside there and the teacher is teaching. They still maintain that blackboard system, so the chalk, chalk and the blackboard. Something you don't see very much in the West these days because they got projectors and iPads, but these schools still maintain that way of learning. So this is Econford Avenue. That's where the school is located. There used to be like a, from what I've been told, like an obelisk here a long time ago. To, celebrate, uh, to obviously um, commemorate the people that died in World War I. But I believe it was stolen a long time ago for whatever reasons. Maybe they used it for parts or whatever. So this is the structure that remains here in the center here in Tanga City. So the name of the school that we, we just passed there is the Shule ya secondary old tanga so this the tanga old secondary school so i guess a lot of people who have lived here in the past would have attended this secondary school here in tanga and this is basically the entrance of the secondary school
<laughs> it's been wonderful guys we did a tour together i do trust that you have enjoyed today's episode all right i'm gonna turn the camera around that's the ratco bus one of the popular buses that travels here in the tanga region so i do appreciate your time for always coming back and watching my videos and we'll be exploring more areas in tanzania more regions so do stay tuned to this space my name is wemba imani and thank you for watching inspire for travel until next time kwahereni karibuni tanzania <laughs>